I, I, I'd like to tell you a little story about my life during and, and just before making this album, Square One. Um, it's uh, at the end of the last album, I, um, I decided that I needed a little bit of, bit of a break from the scene. I've been slugging it out for many years and I've had two kids in the last five years and uh, I felt like I needed to have a bit of family time. So I proposed to my, my lovely wife to go to um, uh, Malawi and live where I'm a patron of a, of a, um, like a um, um, animal orphanage. They rescue animals that have been maltreated and, and uh, bring them back to sort of normal life. I release them. <clears throat> and he's doing it, my friend out there, he's doing a lot of work with the animal um, trafficking of, of ivory. So I wanted to make a documentary on that, just a completely different direction. Anyway, so we, we were living in Brighton and we were gonna, um, put all of our stuff in storage, live there for five, five, week, five months. <laughs> yeah, I told you, uh, weeks don't exist anymore, and now I'm having problems with months. Um, and, uh, and, then, and then come back and move to where my wife is from, to, uh, in, in the south of France, so she can, she can help look after the kids. So I, it was all going to plan, and, um, and then a couple of weeks before, as I was repainting the house, the, all the holes that I, putting up walls from my serious anger problem. Um, I, I, um, that was a joke, but okay. Yeah, just in case. Can um, you speak French? No, I can't speak French. I'm English and I'm in London. <laughs> um, so, um, I, uh, thanks very much for that support. <laughs> if you need it. You wouldn't believe how much I get that. No, it okay, two weeks before and I got the, uh, I, I, I had to go and see a neurolo neurologist for a serious back pain that I had and I had my MRI too late, so much so that on the day, uh, after two days of lifting beds and cupboards and uh, taking them to the dump and selling them and all sorts, and putting them into the storage, um, I got the call half an hour before our taxi to, to Heathrow Airport to fly us all out to say, uh, he said, Charlie, you absolutely cannot go to Malawi, you, you have to stay here, you've got two very, very large herniated discs in your back and you might need surgery. So I was thinking, hmm, I was, I was wondering why I was hard walking and doing anything for that matter. And um, so we had to cancel everything on, in that moment and, uh, and then we didn't have a home either, we just, it was empty, an empty house. So we had to look for a hotel and we got to, we got to uh, a hotel, we set up in our one room with the four of us, newborn baby three-year-old son, and the cocktail of drugs that my son had had, or we'd all had, but the cocktail of uh, vaccines, sorry, not drugs, I don't do drugs, I'm sorry, we have drugs, but you know, but I have to be a bit more specific. <laughs> yeah, that was funny, but what wasn't funny was it turned out that he was having epileptic fits in his sleep, and he was having like between 10 and 15. So not only was I uh, useless and having to lie down all the time, we had a six-month-old baby, and my son was having epileptic fits and it just got worse and worse and worse. Uh, and we were homeless over that two months. Um, and uh, we had a lot of hospital visits between the three of us. My wife was amazing. She just kept the whole thing together. She was very strong. In fact, please give a round of applause to my wife. She was here. Because without her, I don't know what I could have done in that period. Um, but the, the, the reason I want to tell this story um, is, is really because while I was lying down, I, the guitar, like a cat, sort of crawled back into my arms and started, um, I started uh, caressing it. Um, and some songs came out, one was this, and uh, when I started writing it, I thought about Fink, who's a, a friend of mine, and he's a great songwriter from, from Bristol originally. And um, I, I, I wrote half of it, and I thought, this is really, this, I reckon he could help me finish this song, so I called him. But, um, he, originally, he was invited to sing with me on the album, but he's like, oh man, this is, this is a pretty personal song. And it's really just about waiting and, and how we perceive waiting, because at the time, in that, that time in our lives, it, everything was like tomorrow, 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 and a house, uh, you know, health, everything. And, um, and, and I realised that waiting is really just all about perception. And, uh, you know, you can be a victim of a shitty situation, or you can be the, o the owner of it, and you can be a victor. So um, it was important for me to try and be, to own the situation as it was for our family. So this is called Until Tomorrow. I'm here. 
be 